Hey guys, it's Jill with Parcel and Parcel. So I'm here today and I'm so excited. Um, I'm sharing with you the brand new revamp from Nina Paper of the Design Collection. So um, for those of you not familiar with the Design Collection, it is a high-end specialty paper grade line that's made for print and luxury packaging. And um, it's really beautiful, very tactile. You may be familiar, oh geez, I'm trying to find it, with this, which is a previous swatch book. That was the first iteration. Um, it's no longer valid. Instead, Nina has just launched three new swatch books to celebrate the grade. Um, it's been completely revamped. There are a bunch of new brands inside, new colors, and the new swatch books. Uh, the papers in each of the swatch books, this part's really cool. The papers in each of the swatch books were especially curated for designers with respect to how they actually think about using paper when it comes to print design. So um, you'll see that each one the three books. This is Tactile, Pearlized, and Soft Touch. Um, each one kind of reflects a paper attribute. And I think for creatives, when they're thinking about graphic design and print projects in particular, that's how the, the brain sort of works. Like, hmm, what's the feel or the vibe or what am I looking for in the inherent characteristic of that paper that I want it to have? So I'm going to start today, I promised you I'm going to share this with you, and there's a lot. Three books is a lot to cover. I'm not going to do it all today. So today we're going to start with the um, Tactile Swatch Book in the design collection. So first of all, the cover. Let's just take a look here. This is the Eames Painting Canvas Finish. It's beautiful. Um, they've done a gorgeous tip in here. Three different papers, which I'll show you in a second. And the book, as always, is laid out gorgeous. Like, it's just beautifully, and it's how we think about papers and how we want to use papers. So let me back up a second. When they were doing this, again, 22 brands and over 100 new colors. Um, over 100 new colors, 15 di different textures. It's completely different than anything we've ever seen. So they worked with their friends at Design Army, and... The creative team there really helped Nina navigate how to go about, you know, repositioning this brand because it's so iconic. Designers have come to know it and absolutely love it. But what's the easiest way for designers to actually find what they're looking for and in a way that their brain thinks? So Design Army basically, you know, said, all right, let's just take it, we're gonna break it down and build it back up. And they've done so with these three different swatch books, all reflecting the paper characteristic. Um, in this case, Tactile is the book we're gonna talk about today. And they've made it super easy for us to use, um, which I love. So, okay, let's, let's talk about what's going on in this swatch book. So some of you may be familiar with a couple of the grades. Um, because they've been around for for quite some time, and then some are completely brand new. We've got Oxford, which is a really beautifully tactile paper, obviously, with a little Oxford weave to it. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I love it because it just gives enough um, toothiness or tactility and embossed finish to the sheet, where if you're thinking about things like a retail application, textiles, that... That paper is an awesome way to kind of extend the brand messaging. And that's typically when designers are thinking about incorporating texture into their design. That's what they're looking for in terms of the paper characteristics. Like how can I subtly extend the message that the brand's trying to communicate without it getting in the way of the design? That's where paper is gonna be your secret weapon completely. So Oxford and then Suede Tex, which, I'm hoping you can see this here. It, it is from Nina recently acquired um, the fiber mark grades. And this is exactly what it sounds like. It's like a suede leather like type of paper. It almost feels wet. I love this because it's very pliable. So if you're thinking about um, branding elements or design elements for a startup or an indie um, 
apparel company, a leather good company. I can think of one locally here in Cleveland. And I know that I am going to be sharing this with the designer who's working on the branding for them right now. It's beautiful. Wild is a highly tactile sheet and very, um, it's just very toothy and it's perfect for letterpress printing. What I want to share with you is the depth of the weights. Check this out. I'm really hoping you can see that. It's 314 pound cover. It's a heavy vellum finish and it really does look exactly like it says, heavy vellum. The other thing I want designers to pay close, close attention to within the Wild Papers grade line, check out this clay color. Terracotta papers are so hot right now, especially for stationary designers. I know you're clamoring to try to find some. Um, you guys, I think this shade is absolutely beautiful and it's going to be a big, big hit when it comes to wedding season um, through the back half of this year and into next year. So know that. But again, Wild Papers, because it's got some cotton content to it, it holds an emboss or really any pressure-based printing um, beautifully. Just looks so, so good. The new finish is Reef. Brand new to this version of the design collection. And what I love about it is, on the left side I should show you, I'll go into these in a little bit more detail, but they've got, Nina always does a great job including print samples. So this is a sample of the wreath and this is in the 81 pound tax in black. What I really like about this, it does feel like sand, like it, like the beach, like sand, but not in the way, if you guys have done any of those coatings um some of the the raised coatings or varnishes there's a sandpaper like finish it feels a little waxy to me this feels so authentic but what i love is it's part of the paper so um it's just making it really fluid really tactile and think about it why i love this one in particular with the text weight in the black as well as the white is the fact that you can think about now um, using this as a box wrap. I know when I was first doing some things with Parson Parcel, black is one of my branding colors. To try to find a box wrap in a text weight in black was really challenging. Not any longer. So I'm so excited about that. Now let me back up and show you the wild print sample here. So you can see really how it takes, this is letterpress printed, two color, how it's going to take that, um, the pressure of the, the uh, letterpress and just really kiss the sheet it looks beautiful essie which or essa depending upon how you pronounce it um this has been a grade that's been around for a while an italian made paper they've pared it down to two colors it is a two-sided embossed finish so it's absolutely beautiful very very tactile and luxe the Ames paper collection i do love this grade it's been one of my favorites forever um, and you've got a lot of finishes going on in here. You've got the vellum painting finish and then the canvas finish, which was the cover of the swatch book on this. Again, the vellum and stationary designers pay close attention here. Um, I'm going to talk about vellum and translucent papers in a second. This is the architecture, diffused architecture finish, and it is beautiful. It's got a subtle pattern on it, which... Um, when I, I was told when the grade first launched that it was actually from the release liners of masking tape. And because Nina had this whole other technical side of um, their paper, their, their paper making process, they knew how to recreate this finish and do so in a way that it's beautiful co for commercial print. So think about using this the same way you would a translucent sheet, like a fly sheet a wrap. It's absolutely gorgeous. If you guys have a, the old promotion, it's been out for a couple years, called Feel, Think, Do. Gorgeous print example on the Eames um, diffused architecture with gold foil. Absolutely beautiful. Moon Dream is um, a really, really unique vellum sheet. When I say vellum, for the purpose of commercial printing, vellum refers to the finish of the paper. Not to be confused with translucent papers, which I'll again share a little bit in a minute. So Moon Dream is really unique because it has the ability to um, to take pressure and heat and turn the paper into almost a translucent um, a translucent result where it was 
embossed or where that pressure was. So for me, and why I said this holds a special place in my heart, when um, I first did the parcel, I was on a major budget, you guys. Like, I just did not have the funds to be able to, you know, launch a product with without thinking about my budget. So I went and pared down a shipper box and I put all of my money into the substrates and the technique. And in this case, I went with Moon Dream and did a blind emboss. Really simple. And this is on the Classic Crest stipple. Just did a tip in. It's a label. But I wanted to share it with you in case you haven't seen it because it's honestly the one printed piece that so many people ask me about still to this day, even though I'm in my third iteration of the packaging now, there's something about this blind emboss that is just, people cannot help but touch it. And that's the beauty of Moon Dream, right? So in all of these papers in the tactile swatch book and the design collection, they beg to be touched. So when we're talking about applications like packaging and um, hang tags, uh, things where it's really, really, really important to grab the consumer's attention and have them actually hold the piece. Because we know the minute that they touch it, there's something called embodied cognition and our brains kind of relate to owning the thing. So for packaging, it's extremely important to think about the tactility of the substrate, substrate you're using. Um, I know I just purchased high-end hand lotion yesterday. I love the packaging. It's a well-known brand. We all know it. Packaging was beautiful and it was folding board with a belly band around it. And I so desperately wanted that belly band to have more tactility to it, but it was smooth. The same as the basic box for the, the lotion it was a little disappointing. I'm not going to lie. It could be just because I'm a total paper geek, but it was something that, you know, just that extra little bit of thought about the detail. Um, it wouldn't have cost much more. I mean, it was a small belly band. The, the amount of paper would have been minuscule. Anyway, um, it's just an example of really how paper finish can help add that extra level of um, depth and connection to your audience. Teton papers. Again, I talked about um, stationary designers loving the clay finish in wild. Deco edges are definitely having a moment right now. I know people are loving the torn edges and don't get me wrong, they're pretty, but who has time to sit there and tear the edges of every of all four sides of stationary, not me. Um, the Teton is a true felt finish with the deco edge, as well as with the envelope. You guys, this is gorgeous for high-end invitation or announcements, so I wanted you to be aware of that. Canaletta, Canaletto Grana Grossa, I love this. It is truly um, a beautifully made paper. So in the premium white and Bianco, it is gorgeous and super duper thick. 222 pound double thick cover. It's 33 point felt finish. So again, where you want something really heavy, um, maybe it's an art print that you want to be really, really substantive. Uh, perhaps it's the cover of a piece that you really want to make feel special. This is going to look beautiful with all of your pressure-based print techniques. It does have cotton in it. Cotton lends itself well to all of those things. So embossing, debossing, letter pressing, foil stamping, die cutting. It's absolutely beautiful. Mona Lisa, um, and I should see because I think I'm skipping ahead and... Okay, so Mona Lisa is, um, it's, it's got a really unique finish for an uncoated paper. To me, it feels the most like a matte coated paper without the drawbacks of a coated paper. I do like coated paper. It has its place. Um, one of the issues with matte coated is that it scuffs a lot. For designers, and I know there's a lot of confusion. I hear a lot of designers, especially junior designers, tell their printer, I want a matte paper. And what they end up getting is a coated paper when in actuality, this is what they're looking for. So Mona Lisa is that true, uncoated, really sumptuously tactile matte finish paper in an uncoated, um, in an uncoated grade. So it's a smooth finish. This is going to take four color beautifully. Your printers will love to run it because it's going to run like a dream. It'll run very similar to uncoated or to coated matte. 
Um, it just requires some oxidizing inks, which pretty much everybody does these days. Natural Evolution, again, it has a beautiful, elegant touch. This will hold four color very well as well. And you'll see the finish on here is vellum. I'll get to UV Ultra uh, 2 and Clear Fold in a second. Star White Classic. This has been around for so long, and there's a reason why. Because it works. People love it. Corporate clients really, really love this. And it combines the best with both of both worlds. So you get the prestige of the high-end cotton content papers that maybe their budgets no longer can support. Um, Star White is absolutely beautiful. Uh, years ago, I did an annual report for the Federal Reserve Bank of Cleveland. The cover was on high tech. And I don't know if you can see that, but I think you can hear it. There's these very fine ribs and it just prints beautifully. Um, and again, this is, you know, I say the cover was on it. The um, text pages were all on the smooth finish. We really wanted to have some impact on the cover. It was printed four color and it was just so cool. It was fun to be on press because it made this little like zooming noise as it, as it came off the press each sheet with that high tech finish. That was really kind of cool. So now I want to talk about UV Ultra Translucent and the Clearfold Translucent. First things first, so many creatives um, are using the terms vellum and translucent interchangeably, and they're not the same. So vellum in the world of commercial printing papers, and this is important when you go to specify papers for your projects, if you use the term vellum to a printer, they're going to think of vellum finish. Vellum finish like Moon Dream, like Natural Evolution. So vellum in, in the commercial printing paper sense means a slight toothiness to it, some tactility, it's not a smooth sheet, and it's not as um, heavily textured or in feel as a felt. So it's a really nice blend, but vellum is very different from translucent. In commercial printing papers, the word translucent is going to give you that very translucent paper. So this is an example of UV Ultra in the Oxford um, pattern. Can you see that? So like Oxford is in the, is in this particular grade, but it's got a little weave pattern to it. It's beautiful. It, I love the use of translucent papers for fly sheets. I remember seeing an annual report for Progressive Insurance years ago, and they did like the first 32 pages were all translucent sheets with one word on each paper. So you were seeing the word here and the next one coming through and then faintly the third sheet it was crazy but it was unbelievable unbelievably cool in any event when we're talking about translucent papers it's really important to keep in mind like you might be wondering well, why would i use uv ultra over clear fold like i like the whiter shade of the uv ultra it's made that way but there's uh, there's drawbacks and benefits to both you get that that whiteness of the paper but this one is not, the UV Ultra will not be as easily foldable. The clear fold is made as a true translucent and it happens in the paper making process, not to geek out on you guys, but like when it's in the pulper, literally those fibers are beaten beyond a pulp. That's what gives the paper the translucency in the clear fold. So when you're talking about things like envelopes where they're gonna be folded both with and against the grain, um, accordion folds, Anything requiring some folding, I'm going to tell you, use clear fold, hence fold. If you really want that crisp white look of the translucent, you want to go with UV Ultra too. This is big for stationary designers. I know, again, translucent papers are having a big moment in the world of stationary design, and they're gorgeous. Um, they look beautiful with the wax seals on them, really just great. But you have to, it's important to know the characteristics of the paper and is it gonna do what you want it to do. For printers, a word of note, when you're cutting translucent papers, you wanna kinda of use a dullish blade. Um, too sharp of a blade is gonna cause slitter dust, so that's gonna just create a mess for you. But anyway, the papers are gorgeous. I am so excited about this collection. Um, you guys, you know me, I geek out over color and texture. It's just absolutely beautiful. They feel so good. You're gonna wanna, this is on the Star White Archival. Look at that, that gold foil looks amazing. 
Um, so where can you get the swatch books? They are available now through your local paper merchant, through your Nina rep on ninapaper.com. We have a few on the Parson Parcel website, um, very limited right now. And if you liked what you saw today, I'm gonna to be sharing the other two books with you guys over the next three weeks. I thought it would be way too much to try to do it all today. So we'll be going over the Pearl Eye Swatch and the Soft Touch Swatch um, next week. I'll fill you in when, that's, when we're gonna be live with that. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed this, I would love it if you would leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. Are you using the design collection on the project? Do you want to use it on an upcoming project? Do you want to see samples? Leave a comment, share it, and I will see you guys next week. Thanks.